OK, in this demonstration I'll show you how to make your own talking avatar, or Voki. And firstly, to get started, you need to go to Voki.com, V-O-K-I. Alright, so when you're in there, you'll have to create an account with Voki that's linked to your email. And I'll show you how to do that at the end. But once you've got an account up and running, you just type your email in each time and log in using your password that you set up at the start. Okay, once you're logged into your account, what you'll see over to the right hand side here are Vokis that you've made previously, if, if that's the case, if you've made some already. And the one that comes up here is the one that you made most recently. Alright, but if it's the first time, I can't re quite recall what you see at the start, but it's something like that. It might be just a random one. But either way, what you need to do is to go create a new Voki. Alright, so when you get in, you create a new Voki. The old ones are just there in case you want to edit them, all right, or change something about them. Okay, so what's coming up here now is a random character that the the website's choosing, and there we go. We've got some sort of a I don't know what that is to be honest, and that's the beauty of this website. There are so many characters to choose from, and you're just going to have to have a good look through and pick one that you think you might like to stick with, or you might choose a different one each time. It's up to you. And what we're really leaning towards here is that you might create a Voki and put it in your profile page. All right, and you might even use them elsewhere as well. That's fine, no worries. So, um, if the random character is just right for you, go with it. But if not, customize it. Click on the character there, and you start looking through all these categories. All right, and you click to keep moving along. All right, and there's all these different options. You just need to click on it. It could be a human, could be an animal, could be some sort of strange thing. All right. So let's say we're clicking on tunes. You can have males or females or all. And I think I'll choose this guy here. So this is going to be my avatar this time. Now the background looks like some sort of ocean scene. I'll get to that soon. But let's let's see if we can do something with this guy. Um, I might look at his some some. Avatars have more options than others. This guy's got a few by the look of it. So I'm going to choose his hair. Have a look at the hair options. And I think I'll go for this one. I like the look of the mohawk. All right, and click done. So his hair's done. Um, there was something else I was going to do with him, actually. Yeah, that's right. His mouth, I might be able to change the look of his mouth, but also facial hair. So I'm going to give him a beard. And I reckon he looks a lot like Mr. T, if you know about the A-Team. Maybe your parents do anyway. Although there was a movie recently, you might all know about that. Right, so, um, I could also do some clothing. There's some costumes that he could wear. There's different options again. I think I'll go for the blue, maybe. Mm, no, maybe the green. I'll stick with the green. Maybe the orange. That's the problem with this, it's hard to choose. Um, some bling, don't know what the option is, oh, sunglasses, alright, yeah, let's go for some sunglasses, or maybe these ones, yeah, they're pretty cool, and then done, so there you go, that's what he's looking like, now I've got to give him a voice very soon, I'll come back to that, backgrounds, lots of choices, instead of that ocean scene, I might choose something else, again, huge amounts of options, um, whatever you want really, most of them are still shots, but there is one section called animated. All right, and these are animations, they're moving in the background, so I might go for that sun. There you go, that's pretty um, groovy. There we go. Now, um, the other thing apart from backgrounds is players. So at the moment, it's like a white player bordering the picture. And I'm going to go, I reckon, well, it doesn't have to match, but I reckon that light blue might mix in well with the sun and the sky that's nice very good okay so there he is he's all ready to go and now he's just got to talk I've never used it but I think you can record by phone feel free to experiment um, text to speech is pretty good because you can just type in exactly what you want him to say and he'll say it hi my name is mister I'll probably have to write that out in full because it might not recognize MRT 
nice and short and sweet. You know, you might write, I like fishing. You might write your real name, I don't know. Hi, my name's John, or whatever your name is. Now, accents and language, so probably um, English language, so that we can all understand it. I realise some of you would speak other languages, so if you want to, go for it. And then if it's English language, you then choose your accent. And there are some Australian ones as well as US ones. There's an Australian male there called Alan. So let's click done. And here, I don't know if you'll hear this. I'll click play, but he's definitely talking. Hi, my name is Mr. T. Okay, now he just said it. Hi, my name is Mr. T. Um, one, one thing about text to speech is it is fairly uh, monotone, like as in fairly bland. And that's fine though, it gets it done. Okay. If you want, you can upload a file. So if you want to make a little audio file, um, perhaps if you've got a Mac, you could use GarageBand, like an MP3 file. Or if you've got a PC, you've got options including a free program called Audacity, which again makes MP3s, or we can do other files too, whatever. You could make a file. There's four file types it looks like it's going to accept. You browse for it once you've made the file, and then upload it, and then attach it and click Done. All right, so that's an option. But the other option as well is to record straight into it with a microphone. So you could use a microphone. You click um, record and start talking. Hi, my name is Mr. T, I like fishing and etc. All right, so I'll keep it brief and then you hit stop when you're done. And you might notice you've got 60 seconds only. So you gotta be fairly quick. And that's the free product. This Vocky is a free product. I think if you want more than 60 seconds, you have to pay for a product. I've never got to looking at that. I've always meant to. But the free one's been good for me. You can play it, stop it, save it, or cancel it and do it again. So cancel to do again. But I'll save that. I'll give it a name, um, Mr. T. And it loads it up. Alright, so I could hear everything that I said there before and that's good. Now I did click save and now I've got to click done. And I'm pretty confident that it's all saved now. The, rec the microphone I found is a bit unreliable for some reason connected to this website. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it asks you for, for sort of, I think it's like permission to access your microphone, click allow. Alright, I can't bring that up now. But anyway, that's how you do it. Um, and now you need to, you've got your Voki ready, you've got to publish it so that we can use it in our virtual classroom. So you click publish, you name it, so that before we were just naming the audio, this is now naming the whole thing, Mr. T and save, and again it's uploading. And what it's going to give us here is some HTML code. Now. I'm a teacher, I'm not a you know a person that knows much about HTML code, only a little bit to be honest. I'll click close there, but here it is. This is some coding. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy it. Now incidentally you have got a choice here of a large, medium or small one. I think the automatic one is medium. So mine's medium, which is the same one that I've used in the other ones. And I'm going to place it now, that code, I've copied it. I'm going to place it in my course. So let's go to my profile. Let's say I'm from Carbrook School, or wherever your school is. I'm going to make a new page for my profile. And this is Glenn's page. All right, and this is the key fact here. You go over here to HTML, this icon. And in here, this box that's opening, I'm just going to paste it. Right click and paste, or Control V, whatever. Just paste it in. I've got no idea what most of that means, but I'm going to update it. And it's just going to work. It's a flash file. And then I click Save. And that might be me talking for up to 60 seconds about myself. And that's my page. And it just takes a few moments to load. 
I might also include on that page a few other photos of myself or like real photos or comments as I've said in the my profile how-to video so there you go you guys might want to start making your own Voki or avatar okay now here's how to create an accounting Voki so that you'll be able to do this so the very first time in you have to go into Voki.com and go across to the right and click register I'm going to wait it's going to ask me for an email now I suggest you use your school email address but you could actually you know you could use your own address if you've got one that you use at home that's different so you put in your email address your password that you want to use one you remember and you got to confirm it by putting the password in again choose Australia as your country type your birthday in and probably stick with student all right and it might even ask you what grade you're in that's fine um, are you an educator no that'd be what the teacher would choose although teachers might be watching this too and you would choose yes click um, I agree to Voki terms and conditions although you might like to read them first by clicking that that would always be a good idea before you agree to it and then I want to receive news and updates from Voki well that's up to you and then you go finish and what happens is that your email address you got given um, that, that an email will go there pretty much instantly and in the email from Voki there will be a link and you'll click that link and it will activate your account and then from there you'll be able to start making Vokis yourself so you'll go into the website and you'll type your email address password and click login like I showed you at the start alright so I hope you enjoy making Vokis these talking avatars they're great fun thank you bye